Liberal Viewer presents. So Massachusetts Democratic Senate candidate Elizabeth Warren gave a pretty good speech at the Democratic Convention last week with a strong substantive argument about how America's economic system has been rigged for the rich. But when Fox News took on the issue, as you might expect, supposedly straight news anchor Megyn Kelly removed Elizabeth Warren's substantive arguments, leaving only the accusation of rigging, as you can see in this clip. Massachusetts Senate candidate Elizabeth Warren in the national spotlight at the DNC last night, railing against corporations and an enterprise system that she claims is, quote, rigged against the middle class. Listen here. People who can be counted on to help their kids, their parents, their neighbors, and a lady down the street whose car broke down. People who work their hearts out but are up against a hard truth. The game is rigged against them. Their fight is my fight, and it's Barack Obama's fight too. People feel like the system is rigged against them. And here's the painful part. They're right. The system is rigged. We're Americans. We celebrate success. We just don't want the game to be rigged. We started to take children out of factories and put them in schools. We began to give meaning to the words consumer protection by making food and medicine safe. And we gave the little guys a better chance to compete by preventing the big guys from rigging the markets. Now, the editing there of Elizabeth Warren's speech was biased enough to join the over 30 other videos on my Fox News bias and its video editing playlist because while Fox News showed Elizabeth Warren saying the system is rigged over and over again, the parts where she gave her reasons were conveniently removed, even when those reasons immediately followed the clips that were used, like in the part edited out you can see here. Here's the painful part. They're right. The system is rigged. Look around. Oil companies guzzle down billions in profits. Billionaires pay lower tax rates than their secretaries. And Wall Street CEOs, the same ones who wrecked our economy and destroyed millions of jobs, still strut around Congress, no shame, demanding favors, and acting like we should thank them. Hmm, so Elizabeth Warren gave several good examples of how America's economic system has been rigged for the rich, none of which made it onto Fox News, at least not in the form that she gave them, and to make matters worse, supposedly straight news anchor Megyn Kelly then staged a supposedly fair and balanced debate between Democrat Simon Rosenberg and Republican Mark Thiessen, in which Megyn Kelly's partisan role was clear, First, from the pro-Republican slanted question she asked the Republican in this clip. So she gets up there, and you tell me, Mark, uh, she claims the system is rigged, and Brick Hume last night suggested she sounded like somebody who was railing against an incumbent president, and she was advocating to unseat that <laughs> incumbent president. <laughs> so from that softball setup, Fox News' Republican guest totally reframed the rigging issue, making it about supposed crony capitalism in the Obama administration's green energy program, which actually began under the Bush administration. But instead of bringing the topic back to Elizabeth Warren's actual speech, Megyn Kelly just asked her Democratic guest to respond to the Republican's reframed argument, as you can see here. Simon? <laughs> now, that's actually one of the softest questions that a Democrat's going to get asked on Fox News, but... Fox News anchor Megyn Kelly made up for it when her Democratic guests began to steer the debate back to the actual substance from Elizabeth Warren's speech about rich people like Mitt Romney who paid lower tax rates than middle class people, launching Megyn Kelly into the spontaneous rebuttal of her own, followed by another softball question for the Republican that you can see here. But she did rail on, on lobbyists. She talked about, you know, armies of lobbyists. But yeah. I want to ask you this, Mark, because Simon talks about the tax rate. The, the truth is that the wealthy, including Mitt Romney and, and billionaires and so on, they pay a higher tax rate uh, on their income than uh, anybody in the country. They, uh, on their income tax, they pay the, the most. But they make a lot of their money, some of these people, through the capital gains tax, and that is a lower rate than income tax. So that's what Simon's referring to. L Bill Clinton uh -huh. last night got up here and talked about, you know, how well things were under him. He actually lowered the capital gains tax on Americans. And so there's a real question about whether, you know, this whole argument is playing into the Republicans' argument that the Democrats are trying mm -hmm. to divide us by class. <laughs> that's right. The softball question Megyn Kelly asked the Republican there was, Aren't the Democrats trying to divide Americans by class? 
And, in fact, the only tough journalistic question Megyn Kelly asked during the whole segment was, of course, reserved for the Democrat in this clip. Simon, on that question of, of division, Michelle Obama told us that, that Barack Obama doesn't think of us as us and them. He doesn't do that. And yet last night, Elizabeth Warren gets up there and talks about how oil companies are bad, billionaires aren't great, Wall Street CEOs have no shame, they demand favors, they act like we should thank them. Isn't that divisive language? I mean, are all Wall Street CEOs are bad, and billionaires are paying lower tax rates than their secretaries, and oil companies? I mean, isn't that the kind of division that Michelle Obama was trying to say the president doesn't do? Hmm, now, what was really interesting about that question was the way Megyn Kelly referred to the part of Elizabeth Warren's speech I showed was unfairly edited out, but paraphrased the arguments to remove the actual wrongdoing of the rich so that oil companies taking billions in profits became oil companies are bad, and Wall Street insiders who wrecked our economy became Wall Street CEOs are bad, all of which made it all the more clear that Fox News deliberately edited out the substance of Elizabeth Warren's argument in order to strawman that argument, I think, but I want to know what you think. Was the video editing biased and the news anchor questioning partisan in this supposedly straight news coverage of Elizabeth Warren's argument that America's economic system is rigged for the rich? And on the bigger question, is America's economic system rigged for the rich? I, YouTube, you decide.